Have you ever needed some help in your time of distress or in your day of trouble? Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you so much for joining me for this edition of The Daily Devo. I would like to invite you to come over to my website. I'd love to connect with you there, pastorpete.org. There you can find all of these podcasts, these daily devos. You can subscribe to our daily email. So these will arrive right into your inbox every single day, and you don't have to go hunting and pecking around for them on the Internet. And you can also find my books and other resources there on the website as well. Today, I have been reflecting on Psalms chapter 40. What an incredible psalm it is. As always, we don't have time for the entire psalm, but let me just read to you the first three verses. I think this is where I spent most of my time this morning because I, like you, have found myself as I walk through life in valleys, in dark places. I felt like I was in a muddy, sticky, nasty pit of a situation, and I need help to get out. And this psalm is one I can relate to because it it helps us to understand where we should turn to in those times of trouble, in those days of distress. I love how it starts. I waited patiently for the Lord. I can tell you in my times of distress and trouble, I don't always do that. (laughs) Wait patiently for the Lord. But that is something we need to do. He says, I waited patiently for the Lord. And he did what? He turned to me and he heard my cry for help. He brought me up from the desolate pit out of the muddy clay. And he set my feet on a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear, and they will trust in the Lord. What an incredible testimony the psalmist brings here. And I think it's a testimony most of us can relate to. I can relate to being in that muddy clay, in that desolate pit, feeling all alone, feeling like it's never going to get better, feeling like there's no way out this time, and then... At just the right time, in just the right way, here he comes. He comes and he reaches out and he pulls me up and he saves me most of the time from my own silly, stupid mistakes that got me there in the first place. From this passage, I took a couple of things. Number one, I need to learn to wait patiently for the Lord in my times of distress. That's something I want to do better at next time I find myself in this situation, just trusting that he's going to show up when the time comes. And number two, I want to be on the lookout for that new song because I resonate with that. I I get that out of the psalm uh, here, and I've seen that in my own life, that it's when I come out of the pit, when I come out of these times of trial and tribulation, that's when God puts a new, fresh wind in my cells. He puts a new song as he says, in my heart. So I want to always be looking for that in my time of trouble because that means I'm coming out of where I've been. And then finally, I want people to see the goodness and the grace of God and come to know him because they see how he brings me through things. I don't want to hide what I'm going through. I want people to see it so they can love God and so they can know God the way I do. May God bless you. I hope that encourages you today, especially if you're in a pit. Be blessed. Come visit me at pastorpete.org.